the most used functions in Excel are the ones those sum and count. In this example, we'll see how to use the sum and count function in a variety of ways. So let's say uh, we have a mark sheet of uh, students where they've appeared for three examinations, English, Maths and Science. Now the total marks uh, for each subject is 100 and these are the scores that each of them have obtained. So now we'll see how to get the total marks for each student. So we can use the sum function to get to calculate the total marks. What we'll do is in this cell F4 we'll key in equal to sum and then click on the function arguments dialog box over here and reference these numbers to English, Maths and Science. So this is Allen's total. Now we'll simply drag this down to other students and this is how we'll get the total marks for each of them. Now we'll see how to get the average marks for each of the students. So to get the average we'll use the average function. And click on the button over here to open the function arguments dialog box. And these arguments would be the individual scores in English, Maths and Science and click on OK and here we get the average marks for Allen. As you know we can simply drag it down to get the average marks for each of the students. Right. So now we'll see how to get the grand total for each of the subjects. So here we can, uh, you know, use a shortcut to get to the total faster instead of you know uh, going through the function uh, arguments dialog box and doing it one by one. We can simply use the Alt equal to shortcut and get to the total in just a second so see now we can simply drag this uh, total to the other subjects to get to their respective grand totals So what is the sheet uh, asking next? It's asking what is the number of students? Number of students can be calculated using the count A function. So count A would simply give you a count for all the non-blank cells in the range. Which means that it would be taking a total of, you know, anything apart from numbers as well. Had we used the count function over here, we would have gotten, we would have got a zero value as these are non-numeric values right so count a function would be used in such a case now moving on to the number of subjects number of subjects can be calculated using the count a function again 
count a for these subjects which will give us the answer 3. Now the next question here is to calculate the maximum marks in each of the subjects. So to get to that we'll use the max function. Max function would help us give us the highest value in the range which is 89. 89 has been obtained by John in English and this is the highest right so now we can simply drag this to the other two subjects to get to their respective maximum marks and this can also be dragged to the total marks to get to the maximum obtained total marks. Similarly, we need to calculate what is the minimum obtained marks in each of the subjects and we'll use the min function for the same. Equal to min, select the entire range, click enter. So 39 is the minimum marks in English and it was obtained by Ahmad. Right, so we can now drag this to the other subjects and to the total we will see 25 uh, in maths and 30 in science is the lowest and 106 is the lowest grand total so now uh, it's asking us how many number of students have obtained more than 60 marks in each of the subjects so for this we'll use the count if function where this will be our range and our criteria would be greater than 60. So as we click on OK we get the result as 4. So, 4 students have got more than 60 marks in English and this can be dragged on to the other subjects to get to their respective counts. So, similarly we can get the count of how many number of students who have failed. Say the pass mark is 40. So we can use the count of function given the range and the criteria as less than 40 and click on OK. Now we see that only one student has failed in English. Dragging it onto the other subjects we see that two have failed in maths and two in science. So our next question asks us to get the total marks of students who have got more than 60 marks in maths. So till now we have been working with a single criteria. But in this question we see that we have more than one criteria. That is we need to get the total marks of the students with 60 marks plus in maths. Right? So how to get to this? When we are dealing with multiple criteria, we need to use the sum ifs function. So, sum ifs function will ask for the sum range. That is, we need to find the sum total sum of total marks where the criteria range 1 is the marks in maths 
and the criteria is greater than 60 right so we click on ok and we get 986 which means that the total marks of all the students who have got more than 60 marks in maths comes to 986 we'll just check how so who are the students who have got more than 60 in maths Tom John Zafar Kubair and Prince so their total marks are 218 225 208, 140 and 195 and see the sum total of this is 986. Got it? So this is how we deal with cases which have more than one criteria and use the sum ifs function for the same. So similarly we can find out the average of all the students who have got more than 60 marks in maths. We will use the average ifs function for the same. So the average range is this the criteria range is this and the criteria is greater than 60 click on ok to get to the average marks of all the students greater than 60 marks in maths now we'll see how to get the number of students with more than 60 marks in all the subjects so for this we'll use the count ifs function the criteria range P this with a criteria of more than 60 this is our first criteria the second criteria is the marks in maths more than 60 and the third criteria is the marks in science more than 60 so in this condition we are seeing that we are having more than one criteria actually three criteria that we are dealing with together clicking on ok we get the answer as three so there are three students who have got more than 60 marks in all the subjects So the next question wants us to get the total marks of all the students who have got more than 60 in all the subjects. The previous question wanted us to count the number of students. This one is asking us to total the marks of all the students with more than 60 marks in all subjects. So here we will use the sum ifs function to get to the answer. So sum ifs, the sum range being total marks, the first criteria range being the marks in English and the criteria being greater than 60. The second criteria range is the marks in maths with a criteria of more than 60 and the last criteria range is the marks in science 
criteria being more than 60 right so now we click on ok and get the total marks of students who have got more than 60 in all the subjects now let us also see how to get the average of the total marks of all those students who have got more than 60 in all the subjects so we again apply the average ifs condition that we just learnt over here so average ifs the average range would be the total marks the first criteria range would be the marks in English the criteria being greater than 60 the second criteria range would be the marks in maths criteria being more than 60 and the third criteria range being the marks in science with criteria being more than 60 now we'll click on ok and we'll get the average of all the students who've got more than 60 marks in all the subjects